What's going on, Rapid Nation? Welcome back to another Rapid Updates video on Iraq's progress. Here's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna work from this article, which was from yesterday, and then I'm gonna work forward to current news right now during this video on Iraq. We have a Maliki is in the news. There's some good news, I'll get to that in a moment. But let's jump right into this article. Al Kazimi addresses ISIS from the border strip with Syria. Do not try us, for you have tried a lot and failed. This is his message. He went to the border near Nineveh on the Syrian-Iraqi border, gives a speech, delivers to all the commanders and his troops there on the ground, pretty much sending a message to the four-letter monster, saying, do not try us, you have tried and failed, we will kick your butt. This is huge right now because of the political process we're going through with al Qadimi being possibly getting a second term as prime minister of Iraq. He's showing huge strength, huge posture right now, and also sending a message to Syria, which is controlled by Russia. And what is Russia doing right now? Everybody knows the Ukraine situation. Okay, it's tensions all around the world right now. I want to be doing some more videos on Ukraine, so be on the lookout for that. But everything is connected, okay? Iraq is showing strength. A new government is going to be in place here very, very soon. The last thing al Qadimi wants is a run on Iraq post-election. He says the country is preserved and protected when the borders are maintained. So I think also this is telling his neighbors to the north of him hey don't mess with us there is a lot of connection with russia syria and iraq we're talking about energy here we're talking about oil and iraq needs to protect that that's their only source of revenue pretty much right now this article came out today let's take a look at it. surveys of the iraqi syrian borders launched surveys meaning operations meaning war games taking place on the syrian border so there's just more than meets the eye here there's definitely threats coming from the four letter monster all right but this is also on this is sending a message to syria i said that already operations are conducting in several different locations i'm not going to name them right here but we're talking about earthen embankments trenches wires thermal cameras erected towers this gives appreciation of the situation here of safety on the borders by Iraqi military units. Brent oil were just below $90. Yesterday it reached above $90 per barrel. This is going to be creeping up because of the escalations taking place with Russia and Ukraine, the United States, of course China, and with the Fed coming out and talking yesterday about raising interest rates. You guys, this you need to be prepared in several different fronts. While I'm talking about it, gold and silver, it is down right now. But again, this is on the heels of the Fed's coming out and having their meeting yesterday. Jerome Powell is going to raise rates this coming March. This is not going to be good if you're holding on to a lot of debt. Prepare for the environment ahead. I would rather be prepared several years in advance than to have everything hit the fan and be a day late. Get started today. You need cash flow. You need multiple streams of cash flow. Listen, cash is not king. But cash flow is king, and that's what you want. Even with the devaluation of the U.S. dollar, the point is you still need cash flow in order to live and sustain and pay for goods and services and to buy those assets like silver and gold and maybe some crypto and other things like that. If you don't have enough cash flow coming in with everything that's taking place geopolitically and with the Fed trying to push down hyperinflation. We don't know what the reaction is going to be when this takes place come March. You need to get yourself into cash flow and multiple streams of income. And yeah, also getting great deals on silver and gold. That's why you need to go check out Rapid Events link down below. I cannot stress this enough. Why not build your cash flow and get great deals, deal or direct pricing on silver and gold being sent to your home on a monthly basis. This is the real deal. You cannot be hurt. I've looked for things like this. You cannot be hurt with this vehicle. This is a solution to building up your cash flow situation and preparing for the environment ahead. Next, the decisive visit. Will Al Sater succeed in splitting the line of the coordination framework? And I'm gonna say this was from yesterday and he has succeeded. Things are moving forward. He's probably meeting right now with Alma Amiri 
and Fayad without Maliki. I'm going to get to Maliki here in a second. But Al Sader pointed out forces had expressed the desire to enter into the alliance with Al Sader, but Al Sader's position rejecting an alliance with Nuri Al Maliki prevented that. The next meeting between these framework forces inevitably lead to an agreement of important outcomes. Maliki responds to Al Sader and hints that he will not participate in the new government. So that's what's going on right now, Thursday, today. The new government will be coordinated with Al Al Maliki. This is what everybody wanted. Give me a thumbs up if you're waiting on this. Here's what Al Sader did. He went to Al Amiri today and presented him a portfolio of the Ministry of Interior to Al Fatah in exchange for breaking the alliance with the leader of the state law coalition, Nuri Al Maliki and excluding that latter from participating in form the next government. So here's what you need to know. This other leader named Al Fatlawi refused to leave the leader of Nuri Al Maliki alone in the opposition and not to participate participate in the next government despite his coalition owning he owns a large number of parliamentary seats and what this does for Maliki is it gives him entitlement to fill three ministerial portfolios in the next government. And Al Sader knows this. He knows this and he wants to split this. All right, Al Halabosi sets a parliamentary session to elect the president of Iraq's republic. This is all gonna take place on the, se the 7th of February, holding a special session to elect the new president of the republic and bringing you up to speed to current news right now as I'm making this video. Here we have Halabosi meeting with representatives to talk about the president's election coming up. So we have the 7th of February is when it's going to be announced. Or, But on Monday, January 31st, they're going to announce the candidates' names. We can look forward to that, President Soleil. And there's also the other candidate jumping over here to my telegram, talking to my friend in Baghdad. Zabari is his name. I drew a hazy there. Zabari, who's he's telling me he's nominating himself as the presidency Here's what some of the Rapid Nation Telegram group members had to say. Wes says, Maliki may be mean, but he's not dumb. If he's backing down, it's because someone was very clear to him with consequences if he kept pushing. That's a great statement by Wes here. Very well could be true. Also, Vegan Shark, he comes out and says he is definitely an Iranian proxy. It's really good news that he's stepping back. Al Maliki's tweeting out just five hours ago, from a position of strength and power in the sense of responsibility, I say to everyone looking for differences and venting grudges and hatred that my hand is extended for the best relations. He's trying to save face. He's trying to hold some posture here with all of this going on. And really, this is probably a smart move by him because he has his goons doing a lot of his work behind the scenes and could be behind a lot of what's taken place, but they're all running around in the same pack. Thanks for being on this Rapid Updates video. Spend your time and energy on controlling what you can control with your finances, your location, and be safe out there. Don't wait till the last minute. Prepare now for what's coming down the path, you guys. Thank you for being on this video. Until next time, stay rapid.